Yo, what's up, man? Uh, you good? You ready? Hey, I don't know if I go tonight, man. My shoulders. Where's really the sense of urgency, forward. man? Come on, you need a man up. What are you, a doctor now? You're not my doctor. The only person to worry about my future is me. It's my career, not yours. You're ready to go. It's Voice of Nation Fast Break right here on STN TV. My name is David Brickman, alongside Jason Rowley. We're terrible people. We forgot to give you guys a chance <laughs> a person, to win a David. Lakers fight and race the last show, but this week it's back on. Details on that at the end of the program. This dude's getting grilled <laughs> in the media. He's getting grilled by fans, getting grilled Must by teammates. Dwight Howard. Are we being too hard on Dwight Howard, No, Jason? of course we're not being too hard on Dwight Howard. Here's what Dwight wants to make sure you, I, and everybody else knows. <laughs> his shoulder hurts. He's not 100%. Kobe Bryant's not a doctor. It's about him and his career. He has used this injury as an excuse his entire time in Los Angeles, and that's been the problem. Yeah. But you know what? Kobe came out of the media, David, and he grilled him. He basically put him on blast, and I'll tell you right now, I bet if Kobe didn't do that, Dwight Howard would still be nursing that injury wow. on the Lakers' bench. That's interesting to say. Listen, I get if Dwight isn't getting along with Kobe. Remember when Kobe first came to the league? He would wear earbuds but not right. play music so he could hear what other people are saying about him. He's kind of a weird dude. He's obviously had public feuds with Shaq and a lot of teammates. But to not get along with Steve Nash, isn't this like the coolest dude in the world? He's a facilitator. He passes the ball every time, more times than not. And he's just a cool guy to be around. Even Dwight Howard is butting heads with and Steve Nash. And it's not just Steve Nash. He's butted heads with, with Mike D'Antoni this season. He's also butted heads with just about everybody in Los Angeles. You go back to his time in Orlando. Yep. He, everyone hates him in Orlando. Nightmare. He had a problem with Van Gundy. He had a problem with Rashard Lewis and Hito Turkoglu at times throughout his career. Dwight Howard has a history, if you look back, of making excuses. It's, even back in Orlando. it's funny. I know the dude is hurt, but I went back and looked at Dwight Howard's top 10 career plays ever. And just look at this. That's the dude Laker fans thought they were getting. A guy that would dunk guys through the rim. Yep. I understand he's not healthy. He can't physically do stuff like that. But that's the guy we're expecting, and we're getting the guy that's moping around, not playing defense, walking up and down the court. I remember back when they played the Lakers. The Orlando Magic played the Lakers in the finals. When Dwight Howard stepped on the court, we were pretty nervous. Yeah. We were worried. We were like, we yeah. better shut this guy down or something bad's going to happen. I know they're in game four. He had a game where he had like 16 points, 21 rebounds, nine blocks, just a, a dominant monster. performance. He hasn't even been close. He hasn't even been 60% of that. Since yeah, then. and a lot of you know former players are coming out saying that he's moping around. Dwight Howard, his dad, though, I mean, he sticks up for him, so good for Mr. Howard. Rick Fox, he said this guy has a loser mentality. We pull Laker Nation. Do you agree with Rick Fox? 93%, Jason, agree that Dwight Howard has a loser mentality. This is a guy that was supposed to come in here and take the range of the franchise from Kobe and take the Lakers of the promised land. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. It's the Vince Carter mentality. You know, a guy who's got a lot of talent. He has all the physical attributes. And you're like, why doesn't this care guy care yeah. more about basketball? And it seems like Dwight in Los Angeles cares more about his career than I he thought does this about winning. Really well. A couple of weeks ago, the Lakers played Oklahoma City and Van Gundy, Jeff Van Gundy on the call. This is what he said about Dwight. Dwight wants to be the highest paid player on a championship caliber team, a first option offensive threat in a big market with no pressure, no responsibility, and does. no one to prod him from a coaching standpoint. As Jeff, Jeff Van Gundy said, that doesn't exist, it Dwight. Doesn't. And it's not always greener on the other side. So all that being said, as we rant and rave here on SD and TV, <laughs> we're going to throw it to you. What do you guys think? Do you think Dwight Howard is a loser mentality? And do you think he's the future of this franchise? Can he turn it around? Is it just a health issue? Make sure to comment below, like this video, of course, subscribe to our channel. He's Jason Riley. I'm David Brickley, ST and TV. Hey, real quick, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel. It's absolutely free, and you get all the top news and sports every single week. Right here on STN TV. If you still want to watch more, click here for the NBA's top 10 highest paid players. We guarantee you at least two names will surprise you. And if that doesn't catch your drift, you got to click this one to find out why Nigeria prostitutes offered free sex to the national soccer team under one condition. What condition was that? You got to click to find out. Thanks for watching.